What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in today's video, we're going to be exploiting LAME. LAME is a machine on Hack the Box. And in this series, I'm going to be exploiting all the machines that are like OSCP that are suggested in this guide, how to pass OSCP like a boss. So the, our list contains machines from Hack the Box that will help us prepare for the OSCP. So on the other day, we did Nibbles. Check out my first video on this series. Then today we're doing Lame. And Lame, like it says, I mean, it's a very easy machine and we shouldn't take us too long. Please remember to subscribe and like this video if you're interested in learning more about how to prepare for the OSCP. I'm doing it myself. I'll be taking the OSCP in the next few months. So this is part of my preparation and I'm hoping to share with you and hopefully you can learn something. So without wasting time, let's start with our machine. I've already connected to the VPN to hack the box. I have a VP, VIP membership so I can uh, connect to this machine. So let's start with my usual ping 10.10.10.3. I like to make sure that when I'm exploiting this machine, I can at least access it or, you know, get to it. So now that we know that we can access it. Next, let's go ahead and run our Nmap scan. As you can see, I already started it here. And here are the options that I'm running with. So make sure you understand Nmap was is very easy to use. And the other option, if you're very new to Nmap, is you can just use a Zenmap, which is going, which is easier. So as you can see, it's all the way down here. And Zenmap is also going to give you the same results. So I don't think it matters. I like to spend as much time in the command line as possible. Make sure that I get the most out of this learning experience. And while this is running, I think we're going to do this two ways. We're going to use manual exploitation. Then we're also going to end up with uh, using Metasploit. But the first one is let's use Metasploit. Then if once we use Metasploit, let's find a way to get in using a manual way. So without wasting time, let's go back in there. Looks like our end map is done. It's testing it earlier, but we have port 21, port 22, and Samba. So we have FTP, SSH, and Samba. First thing that we need to do is verify that we can actually um, check if our, our first service is vulnerable. So the way we do that is by just using searchploit. So if we do uh, search exploit and paste the version there, as you can see, it does say that there is a backdoor command execution that we can do using a meta exploit. Now let's let's try with that. So MSF console setting our meta exploit here. I have these results saved as well somewhere. In fact, let's keep this tab up and lo launch our Metasploit in a new tab. MSF console. So this way we can go back here and view our results for next. So our Metasploit framework is starting, as you can see right here. So this should be done. Once our Metasploit starts the next thing that we need to do is search for that as well to see if we can see any payloads in there so metasploit comes with payloads that are already set up for us that's why it's too easy and i try to find a manual way after using it so as you can see if we search for that we do have a backdoor right here that we can try so we can just say use that copy and paste so we're using that one then from here we can do a show options and as you can see we only need to specify the R host which is going to be very simple so we can just say set R host and it's 10.10.10.3 that's the target that we do. Then we can just say run or exploit and see if we get shell. 
was that's just supposed to be a backdoor. Giving it, a, give it a second here. Uh, while it's running, let's go and look at other things that are going on here. So it looks like um, we do have a version of Samba, which is three point zero point two zero. So. Um, this did not complete correctly, so that's not ideal. I wonder if there's something that's resetting or maybe it's purged. So let's ignore that one and move on to our Samba, this one here. And since we're already in Metasploit, let's just quickly search for that, for the, for the Samba service. Let's look up our Samba service. So if we just do a simple Google search of Samba 3.2.0. We end up with results, and I already found uh, on Exploit DB that there is a vulnerability to that Samba service, and this is what it says here. I'll just read it to you. So it says this module exploits a command execution vulnerability in Samba version 3.0 using that using non default username map script. So there is a script that uh, allows us to execute any commands really in the username field. I've seen this one before on a different box. I don't remember which one. So we can manually exploit this Samba service. But uh, before we do that, let's go back and actually launch Metasploit framework one more time. MSF console. Let's start with Metasploit first, then we can uh, try to do it manually as well. So um, Metasploit is launching. So now that we have Metasploit, we can just search for our exploits to see if we can identify that uh, non-default username script. Search Samba, then specify 3.0.20. See if we can find something here. And as we already know, we want a script that is the username. So it's this one. Just say use that one. Uh, show options. So what does this one need? So it still needs uh, our host. Set our host 10.10.10. .10 .10 dot three I compulsively have to check to make sure that it's in there uh, the port is 139 it's already set up for us and from here we're going to just do a run let's see if we get shell here oh this is going pretty qu quick no wonder why this machine is named lame it's kind of lame that if this works so it looks like we are in. Then let's do um, who am I? Oh, that was quick. So um, let's list so we can grab our CD warm. LS. So we have a user Makis. CD Makis. That's a user LS. So a cat user dot text. So if you're new to hack the box, this is what we have to do. We have to grab a user dot text uh, file. That's a flag. Then we also need a root dot text. So now that we got that one, and a cd root. Can I do that? So this do who am I? So I'm root. So cat root root dot text I could have done that as my case as you can see we got a flag so this was too simple we need to now the box will be done but since I'm planning for the OSCP I need to manually exploit this as well so let's go back and here it tells us that we have to use a non default username and it allows us to execute uh, the commands and I think I do have in my notes somewhere that I can do this 
easily. So this is the second part where we do the manual exploitation, which I think uh, becomes more interesting. So since we know that it's our SMB client and it allows uh, anonymous login, and we can log in using a username that we can put arbitrary code in it and execute it successfully. So let's try to get into this SMB client. Uh, SMB client, then work work. 10.10.10.3 and we want to start in the temp folder tmp anonymous there we go so we can log in anonymously as you can see but let's use our netcat which is a tool uh, for sending raw packets over the, the network so we want to listen here then go there and start a session and this should be very simple. I did this on a uh, Vulnab machine a while ago. So I still edit my notes. So that's what I'm going off, off through. So if I do an NC and we want to just listen on the normal NVLP, <coughs> then uh, port, let's just do um, 8888. So we're listening there and we're already in here, but we can do a logon and from here let's put everything in a bracket and equals now we are putting a my script uh this is just a normal bash script that i came up with that we can execute to start in netcat so let's do that and then this is a script netcat we want to be listening, but we want to spawn that bin shell on 10.10.14.33, which is my machine, and we're listening on this port. Do a close and close. So that should work. Enter, no password. So it says failed. How did we fail? How did this fail? Let's go back. Something about with our script that's not. Oh, okay, let's fix that. So let's add no hop so it doesn't hang. And try one more time failed again so let me let me write this down so let's try it one more time no password and it seems to work this time so I had uh, a space or something in the syntax I redid it so it worked so if we go back here as you can see we connected and then ls shows us that we have access to pretty much everything we can see the home ls what's in the home directory we have a user marquis cd marquis ls user.txt this is this is our, our other flag All right, see the root. Can we get there? Less. Okay, now we can do a cat root dot text. There we go. So that's the manual way of exploiting this machine. So we are done with this uh, machine. Remember, subscribe, like this video, and we will be going through this list and actually prepare for our OSCP. And hopefully, we can pass like a boss in a few months. So subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for a new one. They'll be coming very soon.